they don't get it. This is an important issue that especially the younger generation actually cares about, which I give it to them. They actually care about this and you're mocking. Speaking of Fox News, okay? We had the one amazing clip by Fox News. You know, they seen a situation and they were kind enough to not politicize it and be like, you know what? These are stupid people who wants to use something that is not really important. That means nothing to nobody else and try to make a big deal out of it. I like the way that uh, those two young ladies handled that situation. But that's all you're going to get from Fox News. <laughs> I apologize. That's all you're going to get from Fox News. This is uh tommy lauren i think that's her name and her friends still not understanding why they lost the midterms and i guarantee this is why they're going to lose every single time until they get their act together they're going to lose every single time because they seem to not understand what's going on around them Let's go ahead and take a look. Let's go ahead and like take a look. Officials in two states are still counting votes from the midterm elections. So where's President Biden? Overseas, pushing his climate change agenda. And oh, my God. Watch this. Where's 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 Joe Biden? Is he golfing? Is he at his hotel? Is he chilling with a mistress? Is he doing a TV? Sh He's doing his job. I like how he tried to breeze over that. Like, what is Joe Biden doing? Like, his job? Oh, my God. Like, who does that? We're only, like, 11 seconds in. And this guy, this guy's face is getting on my nerves. We're proving that good climate policy is good economic policy. Mm. We immediately rejoined the Paris Agreement. We convened major climate summits. I apologize you ever pulled out of the agreement. It's more urgent than ever that we double down on our climate commitments. Russia's war only enhances the urgency of the need to transition the world off its dependence on fossil fuels. Now, I love, I love, I love how they probably took like a 30 minute hour clip and just gave you seven five seconds of what he was saying and he pieced it all together <clears throat> no one else finds that shady i think it might be other important now, i could understand if you want to take one clip and utilize that clip i mean you know i'm a youtuber and you know i do stuff like that but be honest okay like put it in context and it's like they tried to take out the snippets that they know the words are, are divisive. You know, double down. Oh, he said double down. Make sure you get that clip. But not too much. Not too much. Just like seven seconds where he says double down and then boom. That's all we need. God. Unbelievable. And uh, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi jumping on board, putting out a statement that reads in part, quote, America is all in to fight the climate crisis. Nothing can deter House Democrats from our urgent mission to save the planet. How was that funny? Bro, okay, okay. First off, I apologize for pausing it so much. But how was that funny? How was, <laughs> oh, look what she said. America is all in on a fight for climate change. <laughs> Nothing can deter the House Democrats from our urgent mission to save the planet. <laughs> you hear that, Bob? She wants to save the planet. <laughs> How do you, how is that funny? I can understand if you don't agree, you want to debate that, or you have your own points of view and how we could get things done, but to giggle at it, bro, the, the Republicans don't understand. They don't get it. This is an important issue that especially the younger generation actually cares about, which I give it to them. They actually care about this and you're mocking Opposed to be someone who yeah, I mean, we can, you know, argue if she cares or not, but she's saying it and you're mocking it, bro. You're going to lose every single time. Every single time. I wish they would say, start with saving the country, but uh, okay. start saving the country. It's um, going to be know, no I, country the, you know, without Joe the world. Told us, you idiot. He learned nothing from the election. There's nothing to learn here. He's going to keep doing what he's doing. Um, and they are committed to this religion of, of climate change. <laughs> um, 
Jackie, what 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 happens? What, 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 you know, what, uh, I'm gonna lose for words. Obviously, at some point, these chickens come home to roost. Oh. They end up paying a price at some point. Well, listen, they're listen, coming home to roost. Listen. Whether it's not costing them in elections is is one thing that we could debate separately, but it's costing the American people. And even though the inf she literally just said, "Well, it's not costing them the election." Okay, like let's let's make it clear. We're talking about something political, and they're winning. Okay, they're winning when it comes to saving climate, you know, but it's costing the American people. Costing us what? We voted for these people to save the climate change. Do you not understand that? You, she literally just said, <laughs> it's not costing them the election, but it's costing you. I swear, I swear, they need to hire hire me to give you guys some things to actually talk about. Because it feels like they're just running out of things to talk about. And they're making no sense. Like, they're coming up with this, this, this information on the fly, 10 minutes before they go on live. And they're like, just speak from the heart. Okay, just say whatever comes to mind. And just say it. And they're doing that. Like inflation <laughs> numbers have come down. CPI came down to 7.7% uh, .7 year over year. Still a whopping number. Um, and having said that, most Americans are saying they don't see the relief at the pump that they want to see. They don't see food prices coming down. You don't see the, the, the numbers that you want to see at the gas prices. I wonder why. Joe Biden wants to be free from the system that we have that allow gas prices to be as high as they are. Now, is he going to do it? I don't know. I don't really like Joe Biden. I think he's a little too soft for me. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's not as, you know, get in there. But that's a whole nother conversation. But he has a quote unquote solution. And you're just complaining about something. Be free from the system that allow gas prices to skyrocket, which is one uh, greedy organizations and companies that are getting two, three hundred percent profit off of it. OK, you know, let's not point that out because I'm pretty sure they're paying their pockets. Let's not point that out. But wouldn't you want to be dependent from that system? That's jacking up these gas prices. Wouldn't you want to relieve yourself from the pains and the struggles of that? No, 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 no. We don't want that because climate change bad. Uh, uh, climate uh, uh, solutions bad. We don't want that because uh, they're telling me to say it because then I won't get my paycheck. Bro, these these people are pure idiots. Oh, my God. If I could use other words without getting in trouble i will use them but i i am not sure mm, mm, mm. the way they want to see them ahead of the holidays and so when you look at uh the climate change agenda and what's happening to the energy industry oh in this God. country you realize inflation is never going to come down in earnest until uh. we solve the problem of, of revamping oil production here in the united <laughs> states with diesel prices where they are uh, over to five dollars a gallon Every, it's embedded in everything you see, feel, and touch. And right. that's what it comes down to. Oh, so at the end goodness. of the day, if they're not losing elections on it, you and I are losing because right. we are paying the price for it. But and isn't that disappointing, though? For me, that's what's most disappointing about these losses. It's not just not having majorities, right. not being able to put through our legislative agenda. It's that Democrats are not going to realize the pain of the American people because they're going to say, you know what? People must not have it that bad because they still voted for us. And that is going to hurt the American people. Talking about energy production... Okay, I get it. I got you. 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 But what is your solution? Oh, drill more oil. <laughs> yeah, we got to drill harder. <laughs> what? What? That, I guess, is a solution. I guess. I get it. Okay, whatever. But that doesn't sound as good as... Let's be dependent from what's going on so we can, you know, be independent with our own energy or uh, whatever Joe Biden wants to do with that. That sounds a lot better than just like dig deeper. 
then that literally contradicts of why people are voting for Democrats when it comes to climate change, because they believe that climate change is going to affect them and it is going to play a part in the future. So they're voting for the people who at least claim they want to solve the problem. But your solution is to dig deeper into the problem. You see what I did? They dig deeper into the problem. I'm, I'm no scholar. I, I, I just graduated high school. With average numbers, with average grades, and and I can figure this out. I can make this make sense, but these people are getting paid thousands upon thousands to know nothing, to be big dummies on screen. Wow. I'm from South Dakota, the Keystone Pipeline. You know, we thought maybe if we do were that. able to do better in the midterms, that Democrats would have to realize that states like mine matters, that those coal jobs matter. You know, of course, days before the election, Biden saying that he was going to get rid of the coal industry and then his press secretary saying that he didn't want to get rid of the coal industry. Well, now they're going full bore on the climate change agenda and average Americans who are going to have to heat their homes over the winter they were going to suffer. And our oil reserves so low, we're all suffering. And that's the biggest disappointment to me. Does anybody want to make a bet about whether? Okay. Oh, oh my God. Make a bet on that. I'm not going to watch the, the rest of this video because these people are idiots. They want to complain. <clears throat> I didn't hear no sensible, better solution than what the Democrats want to do. All I hear is dig harder. It, we, we need to dig, dig a little deeper. I don't can take so much Fox News in a week span. I don't can utilize like an hour on watching their content. And I already used like, you know, 47 minutes. So I can't, I can't, I can't take no more of these people, man. I can't do it. I can't do it. Let's, let's go ahead and go on. Let's go on.